Hello everyone and welcome to the studio. David Kessler here. Today I want to give you a little bit of behind the scenes look at what goes on here uh, after I analyze the painting and then go back into it to make corrections. I did this painting yesterday you know, and assigned it and everything, and I thought it was pretty close to being done. And I realized last night, I did a little analysis and have a list of items here that I want to go through and change on here to, to refine this painting a little bit after the analysis. Now, my students know, typically I look at five things to analyze a painting, and that's uh, shapes, value, color, edges, and center of interest. So I'm going to go through the five things real quick, and then I'm going to do the corrections in the painting, and then we'll kind of wrap up at the end. One of the things I looked at here is that I think that overall this painting is a little bit dark, and I want to lighten the value a little bit, starting in this area with lightening this, uh, this green value a little bit near the center of interest. I'm going to do that. And I think this, the mark here, is a little bit dark in value, and it doesn't support the general movement in the painting. Uh, so I'm going to try to eliminate this area and have movement more toward the center of interest. Going to try that. I believe that part of this area is a little bit dark in value. And I may want to change that a little bit uh, to lighten it up. The same thing with this area. I may or may not, depending on what happens here, I may or may not deal with this uh, in terms of lightening that value a little bit. I've got some nice marks here. I may want to thicken this paint up a little bit here at the center of interest. Try to thicken that a little bit to add some textural uh, um, uh, effects to the painting. This area here, I may want to try to integrate this orange color into this dark area a little bit with some marks. So I've started to do that here. I may want to do some more of that. Like I say, those little things, I'll analyze that as I go through. Once I get the bigger pieces, I may or may not want to do that. In this uh, center of interest area, I may want to take some of that off the edge here a little bit more. There again, I'll wait and see how that works out as I move through these other major corrections. Those are kind of minor things. Now with regard to the painting as a whole, my students will recognize this as a, as a blue-green painting with a red-orange uh, uh, accent. So the dominant color is blue-green, the accent is red-orange, and the red here I'm using is pink, uh, right? Okay, that's what I want to do. That's the list. Now I'm going to go through working from big to small and see how that works out for us, all right? All right, I think we did it. Uh, lighten this area here, lighten a little bit here, uh, on into this transition a little bit here. I lighten this just a little bit. Uh, lighten the, the top, the minty green at the top. Did a little bit of work here and bingo bango, done. So I hope this was helpful for you. Just a little view into how I analyze a painting and go about correcting it. And, uh, you know, if you're interested in this, if you think it was good, share it with your friends, and I'll be back on the next one, and I'll see you then. Thanks.